Hello, you've chosen to take the Around the World Art Course Tour. On this tour, you will see three different artworks that are based on three different locations from around the world. Each tour stop is around two to three minutes long and best experienced with headphones. Between each stop, a map will appear on your screen that you can use to navigate throughout the tour. We hope you enjoy. Don't you just love this piece? It's called Rumi, and it was created by Marc de Suvero in 1991. Yeah, it's sort of neat, I guess. I mean, it's pretty big. Its metal limbs just jut up into the sky as if to say, Bring me the clouds. I must have them. Uh, I don't really see that at all. Am I supposed to be seeing that? It really is marvelous. It's made from steel beams, you know. It's meant to celebrate industrial construction through its inventive use of building materials. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess I see that. I definitely see the, uh, the steel beams, and they're definitely in industrial. I also think it's the use of orange paint that's just perfect. It's the same color used on the Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, no question, it looks just like it. Uh, have you ever seen a bridge? I definitely don't see a bridge here. I mean, wait. Nope, still don't see it. What am I missing here? I, I, don't, I don't know, but I mean, it's fantastic. It's one of my favorite sculptures in the sculpture park. Well, I'm kind of thirsty. Do you want to go get some coffee? A bridge? Really? It truly is, and as somebody who has an affinity to the German polka, as I do, I know that the word Himmel translates in English to the word heaven. It is simply exquisite. Absolutely it is. Hartley painted this while he was living in Berlin at the onset of World War I. He was inspired by the ribbons and the concave and German military officers wear on their hats. Carol's part Yes! Please. Would you like red or white? I like under. White. White. So anyways, as I was saying, these conical shapes down Do you want something more refined? 
Hi everyone, for this tour stop, we will be taking a look at this Chinese vase located on our second floor. After begging museum staff to let us remove it from the case, we've finally been granted permission, but under extremely strict conditions. I'm so excited, let's go check it out. We are here in a top secret art handling facility with an unprecedented up close look at the Chinese vase from the museum's collection. Fun fact, the Nelson Atkins actually has one of the biggest collections of Chinese art in the entire country. A significant portion of the museum's second floor houses Chinese objects, just like this vase, which is a very popular piece. I can see why. I mean, just look at this beautiful dragon as it swirls around the circular... <laughs> it's all good. Just a little accident, nothing happened. We're all good here. Yeah, maybe let's just not get too close to this thing. You're never supposed to be able to touch it, let alone be within an arm's length of any piece of artwork. It's priceless after all. Yeah, I completely agree. Safety first is my motto, and it applies to the artwork as well. Yeah, so this vase actually originates from early to mid 15th century China. It's made from porcelain, which is incredibly beautiful, but also incredibly fragile. I mean, look at it. It's incredible, I and mean, look at all the little details. Stop! What did I just say? No touching, ever, under any circumstances. Right, 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 I know. I wasn't gonna touch it. I understand, no touching. Okay, as I was saying, it's a beautiful piece and it's extremely fragile, which is why we keep it behind glass in the gallery space. We definitely encourage everyone to go take a closer look in the second floor hallway. Absolutely. We love this piece and can't wait. <laughs> 